Today we will be making a bag out of wood and leather. I initially came up with this idea to make this bag after scrolling through Pinterest for a while. I constantly have people asking me about my design process and scrolling through Pinterest is definitely part of it. I loaded my design onto easel and let Carvey do the rest. If you do not own a Carvey, the shape is simple enough for you to cut using a jigsaw or a bandsaw. After some trial and error, I found that one sheet of leather was just not quite thick enough. So I cut out two identical pieces and glued them together. This gave me the structural strength that I needed for the bag. You can also use other types of fabric such as denim or even heavy weight canvas. I placed some heavy blocks on top of the leather to make sure everything was nice and flat. Once the leather was all set, I applied some glue to one of the sides and started rolling my dowel over it. Now, I was going to use blue tape to hold in the pressure, but it just didn't quite work out so well because it changed the color of the leather. So I just used my hands to squeeze it tightly and then I placed a block on top of it to let it dry more. Now you really want to apply some pressure here because you don't want any air bubbles between the dowel and the leather. I think I did a pretty good job. I mean, look at that dowel. Anyways, after it dried, I just did a little test fit to make sure everything was where I wanted it to be. I'll be using a bolt and a hex nut to hold the strap to the wood. I made a little insert so that the hex would fit right in and be flush with the wood. I made sure not to add too much glue because I didn't want a lot of it oozing out. I placed in a 2x4 that was exactly the width of the inside of the bag. This helped hold the structure of the bag while it dried. I didn't really use any clamps. The key to making this bag is really just working quickly and holding it firmly. I cut little strips of leather to hold the hardware to the back. I traced out the diameter of the bolt and then punched out the hole using a hole punch. Now I used a power tool for this step, but you can totally use a regular Allen wrench. I made sure to use my other hand to push the hex nut against the wood while I drilled the bolt into place. I cut a strip of leather to serve as the handle strap. I applied some glue to the wrong sides of the leather, and then I started folding the sides towards the center. It is also really important to apply a lot of pressure here. This will ensure that your strap will stay really strong and not fall apart. I cut the corners of the strap at an angle in order to make it fit over the swivel lever snap. I secured the closure with some glue. I forgot to film this, but I did go back and reinforce it with a stud. I really love how this bag turned out. The combination of the wood and the leather gives it a very interesting look. I've been meaning to get a bag that is not too heavy or not too small, and I feel like this bag is the one. The bag is able to fit your wallet and your phone pretty comfortably. For more information, please check out our website. For project updates and teasers, feel free to follow me on Instagram. If you do end up trying this project out for yourself, feel free to tag me or shoot me a message. I would love to see it. Check out some of our other videos and please subscribe if you haven't already. As always, thanks for watching.